Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. Let's take the example of CCl4. Carbon has 4 uh, valence electron and chlorine has 7 valence electron, right? So there are 4 chlorine atoms, so 7 into 4. You add this, you get 32 valence electron we have. So we'll start with 32 valence electron. So I have carbon, sorry, I have carbon in the central atom and let's add 4 chlorine. So it's carbon. So since I have added 4 chlorine with 4 bonds, how many atoms I have, uh, electrons I have consumed? 4 into 2, that is 8 I have consumed by 4 bonds. Correct. So I am left with 24 electrons. Right. So now let me see if my central atom is happy. Central atom has 1, the carbon has 2, 3, 4 carbon atoms plus 4 shared atoms. 4 plus 4. So carbon has now 8 electrons. With 8 electrons, carbon is happy. Right. So I need not worry about carbon. Let's talk about this chlorine. This chlorine has now one, two electrons, but the chlorine needs how many? Eight. It has two. So you need to add six more electrons to this chlorine to make it happy. So let's add six electrons to this chlorine. Correct. So similarly, we have to add six electrons to all these chlorines. So if we add six electrons to one chlorine and there are four chlorine atoms, how many atoms we need? Electrons we need? 24. So 24 electrons we need to 4 chlorine, right? So we'll add 6 here, we'll add 6 here, similarly we'll add 6 here and we'll add 6 here. Now you see each of the atoms in this molecule, it's carbon and chlorine atoms in this molecule are happy. Since everybody is happy, the structure is stable, okay? because the goal is to make everybody happy. If all the atoms are happy, that's all we want. So in this case, the carbon and the four chlorine atoms are happy. Let's take an example of chlorine, chlorine gas. So one chlorine has seven valence electrons. The total valence electron is 14 we have. So let's write chlorine and this is the bond. So I had 14 valence electron to start with. I used two electrons for bond. Because one bond I created, I am left with 12 electrons. So let's see how many electrons this chlorine has. So one and one, right? Because one is shared. So it has two electrons. Chlorine needs eight electrons to be stable. It has two electrons. That means I have to add six more electrons to this chlorine. So let's add these six electrons to this chlorine. And let's assume this is one and this is two. So I've added six electrons to chlorine one. I'm left with six electrons. Let's take this chlorine. This chlorine also has two electrons. To make it stable, it needs six, eight electrons. So we need to add six more electrons. So let's add six more electrons here. Chlorine number two. I'm left with zero valence electron. Now let's see if every atom in this in this molecule is happy. So if you see the chlorine one is happy because it has eight electrons. Chlorine two is happy, it has eight electrons, right? Six plus two shared. Everybody is happy, so this is a happy structure for chlorine. Let's take example of C2H4. So carbon has uh, four electrons, valence electrons, so four into two for carbon. Hydrogen has uh, one valence electron, so one into four hydrogen, so total is 12. So we have 12 valence electrons to stay. So let's draw the structure first, two carbon and we'll draw two hydrogen, four hydrogen, right? This is a structure, it's a decent structure we can draw. So for this structure, one, two, three, four, five bonds we created. So we consume 10 valence electron for five bonds. So we are left with only two electrons. So let's take the first carbon. Let's suppose this is carbon 1, this is carbon 1 and carbon 2. So this carbon 1 has 6 electrons, right? 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six. It needs two electrons. So if we give two electrons to this carbon, we are left with zero electrons. Let's see everybody is stable or not. If you talk about carbon two, it has only six electrons now. Carbon two is not stable, right? So carbon two is unhappy. Carbon one is happy. So this, since carbon two is sad, carbon will will tell okay, don't worry, we'll share one electron with you also. So in that case, they'll form something like this double bond. So let's redraw things from the scratch. Since this carbon was not happy, so carbon the carbon one give one. Electron or share one of the electron with carbon two, so that both are happy. So this structure is formed now. So let's start everything from scratch once again. So this is cancelled now. So we started with twelve valence electron. Since in this case one, two, three, four, five, six bond is there, so six into two, twelve electron is used for six bonds. I am left with zero electrons. And now let's see if everybody is happy or not. This carbon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. This guy is happy. This carbon electron, this carbon atom also has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This carbon is also happy. What about hydrogen? This hydrogen has two electron. This guy is happy. This hydrogen has two electron. This is happy. This hydrogen has has two electron happy. This happy. Everybody is happy. So this is my structure. This is not my structure. This is my structure because the goal is to make everybody happy. All the atoms should be stable. And then only you get this molecule, right? This is the correct structure for uh, Lewis structure for C2H2. Not this because in this structure we were not able to make everybody happy. So this carbon one to look. Okay, let me share with you one pair of electron, and with that we can attain a situation where everybody is happy, right? You can also think of scenario. You can say that why you are at two hydrogen each to one carbon. Let's not let's. Draw the basic structure like this: three hydrogen here and one hydrogen here. This can be a good start, right? Point to start. So let's start with this point and see if we can actually draw the figure. So if we draw with this, so we have twelve valence electron to start with. One, two, three, four, five bond is used. So five into ten electron is gone for bond. We are left with two electrons. And if you see in this case, if we want to satisfy this carbon, you need how many electrons? You need four electrons because this carbon has four electrons only now. So with two electrons, you can't satisfy this carbon itself. This carbon is happy, but this carbon needs four electron to be happy. But we have only two electrons, so we can't make it happy. So this structure is also not possible. Okay, so you can start with any structure, but if you end up in a situation where everybody is not happy, then you have to redesign stuff. For example, in this case, we started with this. We found a place where people are not happy. That is, are not not happy. We redesign. We took this approach. We found that everybody is happy. We that means we got the structure. But let's assume that instead of two, we could start with this approach. Then also we'll be stuck in a place where everybody is not happy. That is, each and every each and every atom is not happy. And then we have to redraw the structure. Let's take example of. Nitrogen N two, so nitrogen has uh, five electrons each, so five into two, ten valence electron it has. So let's draw nitrogen with a bond. So we have ten valence electron, two is used in one bond. So we have eight electrons left, right? So this guy has two electron. It's this nitrogen one, nitrogen two, two electron. So to make it happy, we need six electrons, right? So let's add six electron to this guy. So nitrogen one is happy. So we have only two electron now. So with two electron, we can't make it happy because this nitrogen two needs six electron also to make it happy. So this is not possible. So this nitrogen will say, okay, I'll try to share one bond with you. So in that case, let's redraw the structure. So let's redraw the structure. Let's start with ten, and now we'll use four electron for two bonds. Right, so we are left with six electrons. So this nitrogen has now four electrons. Two plus two, four. To make it happy, it needs how many electrons? Four now, because it needs eight. It has four, so it needs four more. So let's add four more electrons to this guy. And this guy is happy. Right, this nitrogen is happy. 
So now we have only two electrons, but this nitrogen cannot be satisfied with two electrons, right? Because it needs again four electrons. It has four electrons, and to be happy, it needs eight electrons. That means it needs four more electrons. So we can't make it happy with this also. So this approach also won't work. So this nitrogen will say, okay, I'll share one more electron with you. That means I'll try for a triple bond with you. So let's again start from the scratch. So we started with ten electrons. So we need uh, we have three uh, bond. So we need six electron for three bond. So left with four electrons. This nitrogen has now six electron. It needs only two electrons to be happy. So it needs two electron to be happy. Nitrogen now left with two electron. This nitrogen also has six electron now to be happy. It needs two electron because eight minus six is two now. So this guy will give it will give two electron to this nitrogen now, and we are left with zero electron. And each of these nitrogens have that. So this is my structure. Why? Because this is the scenario where both the nitrogen is happy, and I don't have any extra valence electron. Correct. So we started with this. We found that we are not able to draw the structure. So this nitrogen told I'll do a pairing with you, but double bond also we tried didn't work. So this nitrogen told okay I'll do one more pairing with you, and with this it worked. And we got this structure. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.